Hi, and welcome to Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. This presentation is for you and your family to understand how we will care for your pain after your spinal fusion surgery. Spinal fusions are a big surgery, and we want you to know that some pain is expected and normal. It is unrealistic to expect to have no pain after this kind of surgery. The amount of pain that people experience can vary, even for the same procedure. Our pain management team helps to care for all of our spinal fusion patients. Our goal is to keep you as comfortable as possible throughout your stay. We will be with you every step of the way, from your first few hours after the surgery until the day you are discharged. Someone from our team will check on you every day to see how you're doing and make any changes to your medications if needed. Our team has coverage 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so there's always someone available, even if it's the middle of the night. We will ask you questions about what your pain feels like. Sometimes this can be a hard question to answer. If you know how to describe your pain using words like it feels sharp, shooting, achy, or uncomfortable, that is very helpful for us. If you have trouble describing it, you can always just say it hurts or I don't know. Most importantly, we will ask you to give us a number on a scale from zero to 10 for how high or how bad your pain is. Zero is no pain at all, and 10 is the worst pain you could ever imagine. If you have trouble with the number scale, we can always use what we call our faces scale with smiling and sad faces shown here. And we'll ask you to point to the face that best fits your pain at that time. An example is if you tell us your pain is a seven out of 10 and we adjust your medications, then your pain goes down to a four out of 10, we know that what we did has been helpful. If the number doesn't go down, then we need to make more changes to your medications to help you get comfortable. It's important that you feel comfortable talking with us and sharing how you feel. The more you can describe your pain and use those numbers, the better we can understand you and your pain and how to get you comfortable. We use several types of medications to keep you comfortable, including non-opioid medications like Tylenol, anti-inflammatory medications like Toradol or Ibuprofen, as well as stronger pain medications called opioids, also referred to as narcotics. First, let's talk about non-opioids. Tylenol and Toradol are used to help reduce the amount of opioid medications that you may need after surgery. We give these medications to you every six hours alternating, so you get something every three hours. These medicines work better together, so while you may take Tylenol or ibuprofen at home for pain, we use them here along with their stronger medications and everything works better together. The other non-opioid medications we use are muscle relaxants. These are used to treat the pain related to the muscles that are involved in your surgery, and it helps with relaxation. We give this medication every four to six hours around the clock to prevent muscle spasms. At first, these medicines will be given to you through the IV that is placed in surgery, but as you start to eat and drink, we will decrease the amount of IV medications you get and begin giving things by mouth via tablets or liquid. Next up are the stronger pain medications called opioids or narcotics. Our most commonly used opioids are methadone, Dilaudid, and oxycodone. These medicines work by blocking the pain message before it travels to the brain. You will receive opioids while in your surgery to provide comfort when you start to wake up. After surgery, you'll begin taking medications by mouth around the clock to stay on top of your pain. Almost all medications have some sort of side effect. You'll see some of the most common side effects listed here. Our staff will monitor for these side effects and have medications available to prevent or treat them. Please know that every patient is different and we do not expect you to have everything listed here. These are just some of the things that we see. Parents and caregivers, if at any point you are concerned or worried about your child's level of sedation or the side effects you see here, please let the nursing staff know. That being said, the most common and uncomfortable side effect we see is constipation and this is something you can try to prevent now. We encourage you to eat a light and healthy meal the day before surgery. It may be tempting to eat a huge and heavy dinner knowing you won't be able to eat or drink after midnight, but this could lead to further constipation and you may not be very happy a few days after surgery when you haven't pooped. Try to go to the bathroom the night before or morning of surgery if you can. If you have a history of constipation, please be sure to stay on top of your normal routine before coming to the hospital 
and consider taking some laxatives a day or so before your surgery if you feel comfortable doing so. Good pain management helps you or your child get better faster. Pain medicines may help you rest while healing and also might make it easier to get out of bed and start moving again. While we may not be able to get your pain down to a zero, our hope is to decrease the amount of discomfort you have so you can sleep, participate with physical therapy, use the bathroom, brush your teeth, etc. You will begin physical therapy as soon as possible, usually night one. Participation in physical therapy is essential to recovery after the surgery and to get your pain better managed. You know your body and parents, you know your child best. We encourage you to take an active part in your recovery by talking with us about how you are feeling, what is working and not working, and help you feel as comfortable as possible after such a big surgery. Parents and caregivers, please do not hesitate to help us understand how your child shows pain and what comforts them. In addition to medicines, we encourage you to bring in items from home that may be helpful with distraction and emotional support. Things like games or electronic devices, toys, and especially pillows and blankets from home. We are committed to partner with you and your family to keep you as comfortable as possible. Soon after surgery, we will start to talk about our plan to get you home and what goals you need to achieve to get there. We wanna be sure that your pain is well controlled on all oral medications which means that you can take all of your medications by mouth. We wanna make sure that you can eat and drink, that you've had a bowel movement or at least passing gas, and that you are moving and able to safely navigate your environment at home. Closer to the day of discharge, we will discuss the medications that your surgeon prescribes for you and make sure that everyone, including parents and caregivers, feel comfortable and fully understand the plan to maintain comfort at home. Please let any of the staff here know if you have questions or wish to speak with one of us directly. We are more than happy to come chat with you. Have a great day and we look forward to meeting you and taking care of you after surgery. See you soon.